Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... T. And T dynamite the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I made a mistake. What did you do? You picked offense only. Uh, yeah, just... but I didn't pick the balanced playbook. Oh uh, no! What are you gonna do? Just use whatever trash playbook I got. Uh, we're playing Madden 20, yeah. and we're the Vikings. As always, playing up and only some of that D using. I have no idea what playbook and all Madden arcade mode. I already have a hard enough time with this effing team, bro. Yeah. This team is trash, and I gotta use a playbook I don't know. Ugh. That's all right, John. I'm sure you'll live. <laughs> I need a good topic to get through this one. Uh, the new Assassin's Creed apparently is going to be Vikings. Oh, dude, it's like. And I will definitely play that for the channel. Cassandra in Viking gear. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be Cassandra again. You know, generally, uh, Assassin's Creed has been a male protagonist. Uh, I was so happy it was a woman. Well, I chose the woman character. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad that you always pick women characters. <laughs> I always pick women characters, man. Mm, I pushed him down like he was a B. I've never, you know, like, if I'm playing a game, dude, you know, like, not that I'm out here, like, smacking it to, like, video game characters or anything, but I'd rather look at the a back of a female model than a back of a dude model. I, I don't know that. if you like looking at dude backs. No. No, man, I feel you. You don't like looking at dudes' backs? I don't like looking at dudes, period. You're okay. <laughs> yeah. You got a problem with guys? Yeah, dude, I don't like dudes. I don't think you're secure with your sexuality. Oh, dude, I love sexuality. Look at my back. All right, take off your shirt and turn around. All right, <laughs> All right here you we go. You want to get weird with it, I'll show you <laughs> All right, hold on. Here, I'm going to take my shirt off. <laughs> See, that's a great right. back. Uh, it's a great back. Yeah, oh, you want me to bend over a little bit? No, I can't see your back if you're bent over. Well, bend no, over towards me. No, okay, no. See, I'm thinking like you could get behind me and I could bend over and you could notice the arch of my back. Here. Oh, as you arch your back for me? So look, I'm just, I'm going to bend over. All right. <laughs> oh, that arch is nice. It's a great back. It's very archy. Yeah? yeah, it's good. It, what's poking me in, in my left cheek? Joey? It's the broom handle. Oh, a broom. Yeah, you were sweeping up. <laughs> yeah, I was sweeping while we were doing this. And scene. <laughs> we're just on, we're sitting very far apart. No, nah, dude, you were looking at my back, dude. They believed it. I liked your back. There's no lies. It was not, yeah, truth, not facts. <laughs> There's no lies in our game. Ask me no more questions. Tell me no more lies. Yeah. Uh, I really got nothing, man. I got nothing. Why don't you tell me about that GD car wash? You want to do that now? No, I don't want to do that on the podcast. Oh my god! And I don't, I don't remember. I, I gotta look. I don't remember. I got, no, there were specific things about the pictures I was sent, and I need to look at it to get the exact nomenclature okay. of what's all going right. on. No, dude, it's fine. It's, it's all good. Um, how do you feel about go karts? Wow, You're, what was that go kart that was uh, in Ashtabula? That was you could see it going over the uh, over the over the Route 20 bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what it was. I never went there. I always wanted to go. My mom was really? like, "No." I've been there maybe twice. It was actually a really good time. And they have them in Geneva on the lake too. Yeah, but we don't live in Ohio anymore. No, I'm just saying, like, you are talking about things from our home state. I was just referencing another place. Oh, I thought you were... Okay. But either way, I've been there, like, twice. It was actually a pretty good time. Um, that didn't think. closed a long yeah, time. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I used to pass it every day because, like I said, I used to walk to school. Oh, so, so you would go over the hill and be like, man, I wish I could ride some go-karts today. Mm-hmm. It was... It was, uh... It was funny walking to school, especially noting that there was, like, train tracks there. Like, I would have to cross train tracks every day I would go to school. And there's been a few times where it's like, I could run and beat this train, or I could walk and be late for Did school. Did I ever tell you the story about when I used to walk to school on the train? Did I ever tell you the story? You used to walk to school on the train. No, you, walk, the train, walk to school, and then there was a train story. Sure, I don't know, maybe. Okay. I probably have heard it, but you can um, tell it again. So... My mom used to drop me off at my friend's house. Yeah. His, he, he stayed with his grandma, and we would walk to school together because he lived maybe like a five-minute walk from school because yeah. my mom would go to work early. Yeah. But we had to cross a train track every day uh -huh. to, on the way, and one day there was a train coming, and it was going super slow, like a super slow train. And uh, we were walking with some other kids that went to school with us. They happened to meet up with us as we were walking. And my friend 
and another kid like went and jumped up on the train as it was going by because it was going that slow. It was maybe going like yeah. five miles an hour. Yeah, I've seen now. I've done that. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, jump on like the ladder of the car or whatever. Yeah. Well, so it, nothing, nothing happened. We went to school, whatever. And then like maybe like two days later, we, I was hanging out with him like at his grandma's. And we went for a walk around the neighborhood. And uh, there was like this little boy, maybe like eight years old, and he we were walking, and he's like, "Hey, you're the kid that jumped on the train the other morning on your way to school, weren't you?" <laughs> and it was just weird that like <laughs> that happens to him, that a little boy saw him and remembered him and called oh, him up. I thought he was gonna like press charges or something. He was like, "That was my daddy's train." <laughs> that was my that my pappy's train. Why are you killing daddy? That's, that's yeah, was just, that was a terrible story, but it was just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. It's not a terrible story, but I don't think I've ever ridden a go kart. I don't think so. <laughs> that was the back to the whole back back to the grill again. Um, go karts are fun. They're adult power wheels. Um, basically, not as fun as Mario Kart because I was like, definitely while you're on the track. Um, I've noticed this when I uh, owned the SUV. I had a Ford Explorer XLT. Yeah, dude, I love my SUV. God, Dude, man. yeah, I know. I kind of miss them. Oh, too. there are gas guzzlers. Oh my God! In this day but, of age. But I drove a oh, SUV. Oh God! Get out of my. I drove a SUV for years, and then I remember my uh, my cousin at the time. She was like, "Can you just move my car for me?" And she had like a little Chevy Cavalier, like a hatchback. I don't know. It was like an older Chevy Cavalier. Oh, my mom had Cavaliers forever. So I and did. it was super low to the ground i got in it and i was like oh my god it feels like i'm running it's like i'm so low to the ground i felt like i was just like running along the ground instead of actually driving in a vehicle that's kind of what like a go-kart is it's like you're so low that you feel like this this, this doesn't feel right feels fake yeah and then yeah. there's no turtle shells or bombs. Well, yeah, i've always like had full-size cars or SUVs or whatever, and like I remember at one point, like I had to use my mom's car for what for my car was in the shop or something, mm -hmm. and she had like a Cavalier, and I literally felt like I was riding in a box. Like my head was like an inch from the ceiling. Yeah, I was yeah. I couldn't I couldn't like I sat like with my I was like this is as far back as the seat goes. Yeah. I was like, what is wrong with this picture? Yeah, yeah, it was bad. It reminds me when I rode in a VW Bug with uh, Justin Cadill. Oh wow! He had gross. a Mini Cooper, and that's what it was—a yeah. Mini Cooper. No, but no, but but his girlfriend had a bug, I think. But it was one of those new bugs. No, yeah. So it was entirely possible he rode him in a bug. No, it was the Mini Cooper. Okay, but that car, small, but surprisingly, it has like little t little like tricks in it that kind of make more legs. Yeah, room. I rode in it too, and I was like, I was comfortable. Like I wouldn't want to like drive across country in it, but it was yeah. like, but it was like I wasn't like smashed. Yeah. I don't know how it would be if I were actually driving it because right. I need leg room. I do. It's one thing different, yeah, just to be like, yeah, just to be riding in it. Like I'm in an Altima now, and that thing barely has enough leg room for me. But yeah, we dude. make it work. Yeah, I man, it's all about it's all about adaptation. Yeah. Plus, I'm not making Cadillac money. You know, you guys need to uh, hook our Patreon up, Jonas. What's our Patreon account? Uh, why don't we have a patron? You don't know, dude. There might be one of those 8 to 15 people might be a billionaire. And they're like, I can't get enough of Jonas. I just, I wish that I was away. Do they want to buy me? That maybe for the night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> make me a man of the night? Then? I mean, Jonas, if one of our adult female uh, viewers was to be like, hey, Jonas. Gave me an indecent proposal? I love your sensual and sweet voice. Like, be like, bur, wah, bur, bur. Yeah, would you <laughs> never do that again. Uh, <laughs> I would love to have you for company over for the night, and I'm willing to pay you to the tone of $500,000. Man, this is an indecent proposal. Is that a problem? Oh my god, a concussion. There's, <laughs> there's a thin line between uh, prostitution and sex. <laughs> for money. <laughs> I, mean, and that's, I feel like that's a real statement. I, right, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Prostitution is one thing, but sex for money is a totally different thing, Jonas. That's true. 
<laughs> like, I mean, some, well, I mean, it's funny though because, like, you've said this before. If you're taking out like people on dates, you're essentially paying for sex to a certain in extent. A way. To a certain extent, but I mean more like uh, prostitution is a job. Like you're doing that. That's 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 your career choice. That's right. a career choice. Okay. But if I'm just giving you a little slice of the old, you know, the old ham hock for for a night and then you're well, like hey i left you know, 200 dollars on the t- counter there's probably way more people men and women it, that i'd say probably happens to women more often because guys are, are more willing to pay yeah but like where the situation has come up where like you're hanging out with someone or whatever and they're like i'll give you 500 bucks if you like sleep with me <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> or, <laughs> What kind of planet do you think we live on where this is just happening? I'll give you Dude, 500 if, if bucks there's people to out there, with me. If there's people out there that dress up in in animal suits and have sex, there's someone out there offering women for sex for money. I mean, you're probably not wrong. Right. I'm not saying it happens all the time, but I'm sure it happens. <laughs> and I'm sure that these people get smacked in the face. But what if they're really hard up for money? See now, it, <laughs> that's awful. See, then I have to say that falls into that falls into the prostitution side of the argument because you're doing it for sustenance. Yes, that's a career choice. Okay, if you're doing it to be able to support yourself, it's prostitution. Yes, because it's a career choice. It's a job. But if I'm just like, if I'm just out at the club and I'm doing fine buying my own drinks. It's a and, like, and some rich spinster comes up to me and offers okay. me five hundred dollars to have sex with her, and then I come back to the table. I'm like, "Hey, yo, dude, this this, this old lady just offered me five hundred dollars to have sex." And then everybody looks at me like, "Dude, you better do that." I'm like, "Yeah, I am." That's well, not but, prostitution. But would that happen if it was a table full of women and it was a woman that happened to? This guy. This old man just asked, just told me to give me 500 bucks. I have to go home and just sleep with him. And her, her friends are going to be like, you best go hit that old man. <laughs> if they're your friends, yes. If they're your real friends, yes. They'll tell you to go get that easy lick. That's what I'm <laughs> No pun intended. <laughs> they're like, how long is he going to last anyway? He's 70. You're hot. Thank you. That's what I'd say. So, so like my guy friends, I'd be like, oh, dude, you're a stud. She's old. How long is she going to last? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I have never had that come up in my life. I don't know if I ever thought it would. I don't know, but hey, yo, if there's people out here dressed up in fursuits and have sex, I'm sure it's happening. Right, exactly, dude. I, like, and that's how I feel. Like, it's like knowing that all this crazy stuff goes on on the internet. It makes me believe that anything that sounds outlandish is happening. Like, if if it's so much as a man asking a woman to sleep with him for money. But there's people online who, like, do all sorts of crazy stuff that, like, you never would thought would happen. Jonas' fursuits are not crazy. No, but I'm not not that specific, but, like... Just want to put that out there. It's that not crazy, really? dude. If you want to dress up like a tiger and... <laughs> not a tiger, dude. You want to dress up like a tiger. <laughs> you do you, yes. boo. Do you know that, uh, Violent... No, not Violent... Yeah, Violent J. Shaggy Two's dope is the skinny one, right? Yeah. Violent J's daughter is uh, she's a furry. Yeah, I think you told me this. Okay, yeah, I told you about that, and uh, he was very supportive of her wanting to be a furry, and yeah. like even did like a PSA video where he was talking about the price of fur suits and how it's like it's crazy, and his daughter appeared in it in full fur suit, and uh, they were just kind of talking about how fur suits are overpriced. Interesting. Elon Musk also down with the clowns. Is he? Th- yeah, he, he made a tw- he, he made a tweet says he likes insane clown posse. Well, I mean he's he's a guy about our age probably. I don't know. He's like fifty. Yeah, no, nah, he's younger than us. Is he really? Probably. Nah, he's nine. All right, everybody. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have already done that, you better take us to the bank. They fall to yeah, and <laughs> donate to our Patreon. That doesn't exist. But for Jonas, TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis.